Right. So Sam's over there still. We're starting off with some. Get to get over here. We're starting off some heavy, heavy-ish barbell curls before we get into more of the like extreme isolation shit. What's so funny? Two sets, complete failure. I'm gonna show how it's done, and we're gonna put these two fellas through it. That's a nice form. Even if he's struggling a bit at first, I'm not gonna help until he can't do a full rep. So basically, man, even when you can't do a full one, I can still do partials. And then until your reps are like non-existent, that's when I'll start helping. Also, people give me give people shit about swinging. If it's towards the end of the set, you're allowed to fucking swing, alright? Otherwise, you completely strict form, that's not failure. You know, I could probably get five more swinging. Barbell curls and hammer curls. Barbell curls, you know, heavy barbell curls. It is a staple of your bicep training, right? My biceps are fucking small from the front. Thanks for panning down on them, Max. Yeah, I want to get them thicker with the hammer curls. This, there's no cheating involved whatsoever. It's just pure isolation on the bicep. Really fucking weak on it as well, as you can see. But going to feel on this feels amazing, which is what you're about to see. Keep filming that shit.
I like this music. Another thing, right? Everyone's. This isn't for you, Max. You keep doing your set. Everyone's seen the video of the guy in the preacher curl. He hyper extends his arm and his bicep pops out of place, right? So everyone's scared. So, like, Max here, he's going full range of motion, fully locking his arm out. Not locking out, but going extending it fully. It's not bad to extend your arm fully. If you hyper extend it, flexing it and extending it past the intended range of motion. Of course, if your tendons are weak, you're gonna tear something. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice range of motion just for that. Easy, come on. Keep going. So, 
relatively heavy weight, but you know, just because it's, it can be uncomfortable for your shoulders, so I don't want to go too heavy. Just getting the full stretch of the bottom, almost as if you're doing like an abs and thighs bolt and you're flexing your biceps, and then make sure you flex the tricep at the top. Just as um, with any tricep exercise. Set up so awkward as well. I used to prefer doing them with the rope because the fact that you can pull the rope part of the bottom means that you know you get a better stretch in your tricep. But we're doing them um, straight bar today simply because I feel like towards the end of the set, when it gets heavier, it starts to feel heavier, and um, when your form breaks down a bit, with a rope, it's kind of like you can't get the full range of motion. You're kind of just pushing it down, and you're kind of forced to push it together without going to an absolute failure, whereas with a bar, you can literally keep creating, it's just a down, uh, like a, I don't know how to explain, it's just a, the bar path is just straight down. Go to failure better, or go further to failure, closer to failure, better muscle growth, get to train harder, which I see as um, an advantage. Again, two sets to failure, and we're probably gonna incorporate a drop set as well. So I'm gonna get started with that right now.
the upper arm is still in post as well, so you really just want to on Workout's done. Me and me and Max right now are in the the disabled showers. Not for any uh, suspicious reason. Simply because a little hack for any of you want to take good gym pictures. Most of the time, the best lighting is in the gym is in places where you're not expected to take pictures. Like the male changing rooms, they're shit. In here, however, it's pretty good.
on the shots looking, Max. Good. 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 Very good. I'm not cutting any of this out. <sighs> See, my physique realistically shouldn't have made many changes lately because I'm not focusing on building muscle. But at the very least, we're doing these kind of days so we can maintain. It's very late, but um, I just got home. I had a really good workout, to be honest. I do enjoy my powerlifting training. I like posting on here, but I feel like because most of my sets, pretty much all of my sets are, are like sub RP8, not maximal effort, kind of just going through the movements, getting used to them. It's not the most interesting thing to watch. So it is good to, you know, make videos like this every now and then I mean, training really hard because I feel like that is it's more motivational. I do hope that in some capacity I can motivate some of my viewers or as many as possible through my videos. But I am still going to document my powerlifting training because as of Saturday, which is in a few days, we're 10 weeks out. It doesn't seem like a long way away, but the competition opens soon. I'll be signing up and then it'll be here before I know it. We'll be making a video about my powerlifting training very soon. You know, just talking about how it differs from training to build muscle as per usual thank you very much for watching a like a comment and subscribe any or all three would be very very much appreciated and stay tuned for the next video